the very thing that I like about the AR platform rifle is that it is a very, very mature rifle platform. What do we mean when we say that a rifle is a very mature rifle? Well, that means that since its inception, it has undergone many, many years of development and improvement. So as we know, the uh, M16 or the AR rifle has been used by the U.S. military since 1964, so 58 years ago. But until this very day, uh, ini-improve pa rin natin siya at ina-iterate natin to fit uh, the needs of the modern-day uh, user or the modern-day soldier. And dahil nga doon, nag-mature na siya into something that a lot of people across the world love, which is this very solid and mature rifle platform. And today, we are now going to talk about the UDMC 5th Generation S5 PVAR Rifle. Now, it took me a while to, uh, to get this uh, rifle kasi nga, Ayun nga, I only had one rifle and since I cannot buy another rifle because of the uh, permanently temporary ban on 5.56 and 7.62 uh, rifles under Republic 10.591 implemented through EO. That's a mouthful over there. But uh, it took me a while to uh, get this rifle up to speed to Gen 5 standards because yun nga, since I cannot buy a new rifle, the only thing that I could really do was to take an existing rifle and upgrade it to a fifth generation modernized uh, version. Now, there was nothing wrong with the old rifle, but I really liked the uh, improvements they made to the fifth generation rifle. So I figured why not take what's great about the old rifle and uh, also get some of the uh, newer, more ergonomic features of the new generation S5 PVAR rifles. So yun nga. So that's what I did and finally na complete na natin yung project na yun. And this is one of the big advantages guys I know with going with the local uh, company like UDMC is that if you have an existing rifle uh, licensed under your name, what you can do is that you can take it to them and uh, request them to upgrade it to a newer standard. Because you can really only own one rifle, pero that doesn't really mean that you cannot ano, ano, customize it further or upgrade it. So you can upgrade it, and that is the good thing about this one with UDMC. So they provide their customers with a top-notch quality service, and that's what I did to have this rifle upgraded from a Gen 2 to a Gen 5 standard. So there it is. Very, very good rifle. So let's check, okay, and uh, see all of these features, and let's talk about it. I hope you appreciate this video, guys, because uh, it took a lot of effort to finally get this and for us to have a close look at the UDMC 5th generation rifle. So first off, guys, safety check muna tayo. Okay, so the magazine, we removed it, it's empty. There's a chamber, it's empty. I'm gonna try to decock it right here. And the rifle is now clear. The magazine that I use is a Lancer Advanced Warfighter magazine. So this one is a clear version. It's empty. All right, so first off, pag-usapan muna natin yung barrel nito. So just the specifications over here, what we have is an 11.5 inch barrel with a 1 is to 8 twist. Now the barrel itself is made in Spain, manganese phosphate parkerized finish. And this one has been uh, profiled locally by UDMC. So shortened M4 profile barrel. So the tip from the old version, the Gamit Co, which is the Shuriken Flash Hider. This one is now the uh, mil-spec birdcage flash hider compatible with all birdcage uh, suppressors. So there we have it. It's a very good uh, birdcage uh, flash hider. Now, 
The receiver itself is a 7075T6 aluminum receiver, and the barrel, if you look closely over here, it's floating, which means that hindi nagtatouch yung handguard doon sa barrel, which really uh, helps with accuracy. Of course, given that this is a gas piston rifle, you will still have an interface, a physical uh, part that touches it, uh, that runs to the operating system because of the gas piston, which we will talk about shortly. Pero the handguard itself is a very good modernized handguard by UDMC. And if you look closely over here, there are some very nice features. Quick detach mounts. And you have these screws. These screws allow you to uh, disassemble or tanggalin natin. Ano? Pwede mong tanggalin yung mga screws na yan. You can undo these screws and remove the handguard without needing armorer's tools. Para malinis mo yung barrel sa ilalim. Without uh, having to go through the pain <laughs> of having to disassemble it the good old-fashioned way like the uh, second generation PVAR that I had. So much easier to clean. Now, let's uh, talk about the operating system. Niya. So as you know, guys, the rifle that I had before was a gas piston rifle, and it's still the same rifle. Din naman. This is the S5, same serial number and everything. And the S5 is UDMC. So when we talk about that, S5 PVAR means the gas piston, and S5 DGIS is the direct gas impingement. This is the PVAR version. What this means is that it is, has a gas piston. So if you look closely over here, okay, meron tayo, ito yung gas piston niya, no? yung operating system niya. It's different from the direct gas impingement. And uh, what, if you look closely over here, one of the biggest differences that this has with the second generation uh, rifle is that meron na tayong different settings, gas settings for it. So before it was just on and off. This time around, we have the S setting, the number one setting and the number two setting. S setting means suppressed. So this allows your uh, gas uh, system, your operating system, maximum compatibility with a wide range of suppressors. As we know guys, kasi pag gumagamit tayo ng suppressors, we're dealing with more gas going through the uh, operating system because the gas is uh, muffled by the suppressor. So the S setting increases reliability when using uh, suppressors and maximizes compatibility of the rifle with the wide array of suppressors. So number one naman is the uh, standard setting for uh, unsuppressed uh, use. And the number two is for adverse settings. So you can look that up online, kung ano ba talaga yung ginaga ginagawa ng adverse settings. But that one usually ginagamit natin pag marumi na yung rifle. <laughs> and uh, hindi mo pa siya nalilinis, pero you want maximum uh, reliability even though it takes a while to, even uh, if you haven't uh, cleaned your rifle yet. That's one of the applications. But it also has other uses, your number two setting. So as you can see, the gas system has now been greatly improved by UDMC. So, yung gas piston operating system niya. So, there you go. And uh, we're just going to have a look at this rifle before we disassemble it. So, as you can see, uh, very, very nice uh, build quality by UDMC. Uh, no doubt about it, this is the Filipino uh, flavor of the uh, gas piston AR. And a very, very good quality by UDMC. We'll talk about the bolt carrier now. So I'm also using uh, a Hollow Sun uh, HS503 uh, GU. This is a circle dot sight. So I'm gonna show it to you, although medyo malabu lang siya because malino yan actually, pero through the camera it's a bit uh, blurry. But that's what it looks like. Okay, so let's disassemble it. And uh, see what's inside. So, we're gonna look at the bolt carrier of this rifle. So, before we uh, take a look at that one, check muna natin yung interiors niya. Okay. Turn the light on para mas makita natin. And there you go. So as you can see over here, guys, very, very good build quality by UDMC. 
The interior of the uh, barrel is chrome lined uh, because this is a carbon steel barrel with a manganese phosphate finish. Now, there are also other barrel options by UDMC. The old one that I had was ordnance grade stainless steel with a matte finish. And that one is a very, very good uh, barrel. Pero this time around, I opted to have it upgraded to a, a manganese phosphate uh, barrel because this one is a much... Uh, uh, it's a much lighter profile barrel than the old one that has a 14.5 inch barrel, but also has a heavy profile. It's M4 profile na, so mas magaan siya. And that's what I appreciate about this current build. It's much lighter than my old uh, rifle. Looking at the bolt carrier, anybody who's been around ARs knows how hard and expensive it is to get a bolt carrier of this superb quality. So yeah, really, really good machining and finishing by UDMC. Uh, notice na hindi tayo gumagamit ng gas key because this is a gas piston. So you have a piston that hits the strike face over here, causes it to travel back. And if it hits it again, okay, aatras siya ng ganyan, babalik. Aatras siya ng ganyan, babalik. So gas piston to guys. Just like yung mga other operating systems, yung, yung mga na ginagamit ng mga ibang rifles. So, like the AK, you know, the AK, except that the AK is a long stroke gas piston, this is a short stroke gas piston. Different from the DGIS. Obviously, hindi, sila, hindi, mo, hindi interchangeable ito uh, sa DGIS na gas piston, uh, na rifles ng UDMC. That one uses a gas key, but this one is for the uh, gas piston S5 PVAR. Fifth generation bolt carrier all right so let's reassemble it so there you go it's a little bit challenging to reassemble this rifle behind the camera but there you go so yung internals natin ganun pa rin naman sa akin dati because this is the uh, old second generation customized improved uh, lower receiver. This one also uses the Fab Defense podium. So the rifle stands on its own. So just my uh, improvements to my uh, build. So another improvement that ginawa ng UDMC is that we have these engraved rail position counters. Very useful, guys, if gumagamit kayo ng optic because sometimes you take off your optic and then you put it back on, pero minsan nakakalimutan natin yung ano ano yung exactong position niya. But these uh, position counters allow us to uh, properly mark and remember the uh, positions ng optics natin. So, very, very good one. So, based on my testing, which isn't really much, to be fair. Uh, acceptance testing pa lang with, I think, 20 rounds. 100% uh, reliability tong rifle. 100% reliable tong rifle na to. So, I will try to test this some more in the future. Uh, pero, it will take me a while kasi nga, guys, because of the permanently temporary ban on 5.56 and 762 semi-auto rifles for civilians, it's really hard to source ammo for this. It's very, very hard. So, uh, it will take me a while. But I'll let you know pag, na, pag nagawa ko na yun. Um, I think this is the huge advantage of going with a local company like UDMC. Because they can upgrade and maintain your rifles. Dahil nga local company sila, you can go with an option such as this. So, if you have an older generation UDMC rifle, you can have it uh, upgraded to a newer generation uh, version. Uh, so this is the huge advantage nga of going with the local uh, company like UDMC. So meron ka ng customer service and support uh, and UDMC stands by its products. Okay? 
and th they are really, really uh, very good to deal with as far as customer service is concerned, and that is the huge advantage. If you went with another brand, like an uh, imported brand, uh, syempre, napakahirap i, i, i pa service ng rifle uh, because nga, uh, you have to probably have that rifle exported and re-imported. But you don't have that issue with UDMC. So very effective local warranty and uh, service by UDMC. So overall, guys, I'm very happy na natapos na rin tong project na to. It's really challenging to get uh, uh, to maintain rifles of 5.56 and 7.62 caliber nga because of the permanently temporary ban on 5.56 and 762 for civilians. Pero with companies like UDMC nga, guys, you can take existing rifles and upgrade it, which gives it really, really good. Uh, it extends the lifespan of the rifle. So I hope you enjoyed this new video of ours. Uh, because, as we all know, we really want to talk about very, very good firearms in this channel. So, if you like the content that you're seeing over here, guys, please feel free to uh, like, share, and subscribe. My upload schedule has been uh, off uh, very recently, you know, because of the new job, but I'll be more than happy to produce more content for you and discuss very, very good Filipino-made firearms and gun laws uh, that will help us understand uh, how things work here in the Philippines as far as firearms are concerned. So there you go. Thank you very much. Salamat guys sa panunood. And I will see you all in the next video.